So I wanna share a few hair growth tips with you while I am just taking down my hair. So the first thing I would say is you really don't wanna go longer than one whole month without washing your hair, washing and conditioning your hair. Your scalp is literally this foundation of healthy hair growth. I wash my hair once a week, condition once a week. You can definitely do once every other week, that's fine. And it starts with removing any product buildup, dirt, oil, sweat, and of course, dead skin cells. The next thing I would say is not all oils are made the same. So as a cosmetic chemist, I'm always thinking about what oils have vasodilation and angiogenesis properties. Vasodilation pretty much means like widening of the blood vessels where angiogenesis is developing new blood vessels. Our dermal papilla, these blood, oxygen, and nutrients. And if there is a lack of blood flow, you will absolutely see a lack of hair growth. So the top oils I recommend is going to be peppermint and rosemary. I also really like castor oil, tamanu oil, which is great for restoring the scalp and healing the scalp from eczema and psoriasis, even dandruff as well. And of course, black seed oil. But the next thing I would say is nutrients, like your diet, are you getting zinc, are you getting a good B vitamin in, your iron levels, your vitamin D, all of these things are like the catalyst for hair growth. So I highly recommend getting on a good multivitamin. The ones I recommend are my Amazon storefront, the link is in my bio. The next thing I would say is moisturize and seal. I moisturize and seal my hair every two days like clockwork because you need to protect your ends, especially if hair growth is the goal because if you are doing all the things up here but you're not protecting your ends they're breaking off because they're dry or you're brushing them and combing them like crazy you're not going to see the length that you are looking for the last thing i would say is stress stress will literally constrict your blood vessels leading to less blood flow nutrients oxygen going to your scalp which can then lead to thinning and hair loss so be mindful of your stress levels if you gotta cut some folk off baby do what you gotta do okay but whatever you need to do to lower that stress to reach your hair goals is going to be golden so hope you guys found this video helpful of course for more curly chemistry content be sure to save this post and hit that follow button and i'll see you guys soon